I want to catch up with you guys a little bit. So Dylan, last time we spoke on the show, you guys had done your early retirement thing. You were traveling around. So it's been three years. What have you guys been up to? And I know that probably COVID has thrown a little wrench into it. So what, what's been going on with you guys? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, all of that. So we've been so busy, Andy. It's been amazing. Um, COVID has thrown a little wrench into things, obviously for everybody. But um, since we last spoke to you, gosh, we've done a lot of travel. So in 2018, we traveled to China. Um, and then we did an interesting trip in, in the U.S. And up, we went through Michigan, your neck of the woods, up into Toronto. We had never been there before. It did Niagara Falls. Then we went down to Florida. Um, yeah. So we spent a week in Disney World beforehand because Dil Dylan had never been to a Disney property before. So we thought, OK, when's the next time we're going to be in Orlando? Let's go to Disney World and do it. Do it right. So we spent six days in Disney World before FinCon. So that was a lot of Mickey Mouse and uh, <laughs> a lot of rides and a lot of hot, humid weather. Um, that was it was fun. It was an, it was an awesome time, I think. Yeah. And then 2019, I don't know if you remember this, Andy, but I had a really bad problem with my hip for years and I was limping around. And it was just, it got to a point where the only way to fix it was to actually get a hip replacement, which is, it sounds crazy for someone my age, but, um, so I did that in 2019 and it, it's been fantastic. Like now I can do basically anything. I feel like I'm 25 again. So talk to us about the healthcare ramifications because some, somebody who's looking at early retirement, they're like, well, what about my healthcare? If I can't uh, have the, the protection from my job, how did you handle the healthcare situation with a hip, hip replacement or hip, uh, hip surgery? Well, we use the ACA, you know, every state is different. California has a pretty good program covered California. Um, we do get some subsidies. Um, you know, we have a high deductible plan and then we just try to stay as healthy as we can. I mean, that was the one big thing. We just sort of wanted to get out of the way. Um, everything else, we just try to, you know, do what we can to stay healthy and keep our covered California plan intact. Um, any other thoughts on the, on the healthcare? I know that's a big question for a lot of people. And it, there's, there's, unfortunately, there's not a great answer for that. We've listened to a lot of panels talk about this from health ministries to, you know, going overseas for certain things to, um, you know, COBRA plans, which are really expensive. So I, I, there's not a great answer other than really if you if your state happens to have a decent ACA program, which ours does. Yeah, I think that's a part a big part of it is you have to do your research and see what's available to you. Um, like we went to our doctor and we, you know, tried all of the, oh, try taking some Motrin, try taking some whatever medication um, so we went that route with Dylan and I, and then the doctor said, okay, it's time for you to go see an orthopedic surgeon. Cause this is beyond my scope of, of expertise. And the doctor said, then it was another year of, oh, let's try some steroid shots or let's try some injections. And, um, and I think they finally realized that given Dylan's age, the severity of the injury warranted having surgery done. And it took a while because they definitely don't recommend having something this serious, um, to, to rectify it with surgery this early in the game. Um, but so I think, you know, healthcare is definitely the topic that is the number one concern for people retiring early. Yeah, that's that. Those are important things to think about as you're heading towards it, uh, not only reducing your expenses, increasing your income, but also thinking about what the plan is afterward to make sure that you are protected. So I understand it's not just been travel and, you know, taking care of your health. You guys have been busy with a book. So what's this book all about? Yeah. And, uh, and, and tell us, uh, is it, is yeah. it, is it okay to work it? in retirement? Tell us all about that. Like you said, start your fire. Um, a modern guide to uh, early retirement. And it just, you know, when we got back from our trip, we finished this book up in within about a month and a half uh, after that first chapter. And so we were writing feverishly because we had all these milestones from the, the publisher, but it just flowed right out of us. I mean, it was like, you wouldn't believe um, because we've lived it. And so our publisher, she had actually mentioned a couple times along the way. She's like, one, we've done, we've hardly had to do any editing to this, which is really unusual. Like basically what you guys put forth was, you know, we didn't have to do much to it. So that was one thing. And the second thing she said, which made me feel better was 
the people around her on her team were all saying, man, I wish we had this book when we were younger. And I was like, thank you. I mean, that's fantastic feedback. And I'm glad that you said that because I think a lot of people, including us, I wish we had a guidepost or some sort of additional knowledge about finances earlier in life. It would have made things a little bit easier, but yeah. Right, because we stumbled (laughs) upon this. And I think you were the one who actually introduced us to the FIRE life in the first place, so. (laughs) The movement, yeah. I mean, I caught up with Dylan. I heard you guys' story. It was super motivating. One of my first interviews uh, almost four years ago now. And yeah, yeah, time flies, absolutely. And so I just wanna say, you guys have not only you know put together this story, but you're giving people that that layout. I've had a chance to read the book. It's really well put together. It really gives you that structure of the why for fire and then also the how to get it done. So kudos to you guys for putting this together. It's been a blast having you back on the show. Where can people find the book and then connect with you? Um, I would recommend going to our website, retireby45.com, because we have a lot of information about our book there. So um, excerpts from the book and a link to Amazon. You can go to Amazon as well directly if you like. Um, So either retireby45.com or Amazon and search for Start Your Fire. Excellent. Well, thank you both for being here today. And guys, go there, retireby45.com, check it out, and you will not be uh, underwhelmed because this book has all of the detail you need to start your fire. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Andy. Take care.